Hello guys. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk about Java tuples library. Generally, whenever we want to store any data <clears throat> with more elements, we are going to use collections, right? We know like, you know, list is a data type where we are going to uh, use to store multiple elements with same data type, but only one data type is allowed. When it comes to set, same thing, but you know, duplicate elements are not allowed. When it comes to map, maximum two different data types we can store at a time. That is what we uh, know already about you know, Java collections concept, right? Now, what exactly we are going to do if we want to store more than two elements, like I want to store string integer and one more string also I want to store. What if, if I want to store four different data types at a time? What if, if I want to store 10 different data types at a time? So especially within Java programming language, there is no such possibility. So if you want to do that, we have an option in Java. So for that, we have to add additional library called Java tuples. So this library is going to allow us to store 10 different data types, meaning 10 heterogeneous objects we can store at a time. We can store string, integer, double, float, like, you know, 10 different data types at a time we can store by using this Java tuples library. Let's see what exactly the concept of Java tuples library. Let's create a new class here, a Java tuples along with main method. So generally, when it comes to list, we are going to store something like this low list of string and um, <clears throat> whatever the variable that you want to assign. So new array list like this. Correct. In later point of time, you are going to use list dot add method and then you are going to add all the values generally. So you are going to add whatever the object that you want to. Very similar to these uh, collection concepts, even, you know, tuples also going to work. Whenever you want to store any um, data types by using tuples, first you have to add Java tuples library here. Because by default, we are not at all going to get this Java tuples library. If you are using Java project, then you have to download tuples java library and then you have to add it if you are using maven project you have to copy the dependency that is java tuples dependency so you have to copy that so that you are going to get all the packages and classes that we can use from java tuples library so i am just added this Java tuples. The maximum version is 1.2 only available here. So now once you are going to add Java tuples library, mainly we are going to have 10 different classes within this package. Java tuples package is going to have 10 different packages, sorry, classes. The main purpose of these 10 different, you know, uh, classes here is, let's say if I want to store one single element, then I'm going to use unit. When it comes to two different elements, I have to use pair class. Whenever three different elements together, I want to store triplet. Whenever four elements, quartet. Five elements, quintet. Like this, you know, you can actually store 10 different data types together in this particular tuples classes. Let's see how exactly we are going to do that. Whenever I want to store like, you know, three different data types. So three different data types together, if I want to store, if you see here, you can understand, you know, triplet is what we have to use. So we have to initiate like this, you know, triplet class along with data types. Let's say I want to store string, comma, integer, comma, 
double three different values i want to store here <coughs> variable i am updating as triplet is equal to new triplet of same data types within this i can store whatever the values i want so let's say i want to store my name bharat and i want to store my employee id that is 1234 and then i also want to store my percentage like you know my master's percentage also let's say 98.23 so all these values i can store together at <clears throat> one single variable like this not only storing these values let's say if i want to get these values to make use of like uh, somewhere in my program if i want to make use of this particular name very simple you know i can simply use sysout there are multiple methods also available here so triplet dot get value of zero if you are going to get get value zero method if you can use here then automatically you will be able to get that not only storing the data we can actually get the data also even we can check the size of this particular triplet how many values we have stored those methods also available and one more feature also there let's say already three different values are there now i want to store my address details also and my zip code details also let's say there are other data types if you want to add that is also possible let's say i want to add three more details meaning three more different data types i want to add here then what exactly i am going to use so i need sextet and already there are three different data types we are having so we have to use the same data types along with that we have to use another data types to add, add my address i'm going to use string data type to add zip code i'm going to use integer data type and to add whether i'm having like you know visa or not to travel so true or false i want to update so i can update that data type also here now i can use this variable now what we can do is by using add method so already there are values three different values available now i can use dot add i can add other values here address is hyderabad and my zip code is somewhere like by lucky one and then i am eligible for i mean travel to different country as i am already having visa so i can add another values here so now if you are going to print this one do you know you will be able to get six different values and now if you want to get like suddenly my zip code if i want to use somewhere then value of 5 sorry 4 we have to use here so that i'll be able to get that particular data in this way java tuples library is very very useful whenever you want to store more than two data types together in one single variable generally collections is going to allow up to two data types but this is going to allow 10 different data types if you are going to use decade almost 10 different heterogeneous not homogeneous element heterogeneous elements we can store in one single variable that's the beauty of java tuples concepts and thank you so much guys